everybody. Welcome to week seven of my countdown to Christmas. This week I'm going to show you how to make a holder for one of the pretty soaps from Bath and Body Works, or it could be even one of the pretty soaps that you get at your local grocery store. First, I'm going to start out with a 12 by 12 piece of Knight of Navy cardstock, and I'm going to score it first. I've already scored it here at two and a half and four and a fourth, and then I'm going to turn it and score it at four and a half and seven and a half. Now I need to make some tabs on here so I am going to come down just half an inch at four inches and score it just to that first line and then again over here at eight inches and score to that first line. And then I'm going to turn it and do the same thing over here. I need to score it at four and three fourths and stop right there at that line. Now, I'm trying to put my stylus where I think it goes. If it's not exactly the right line, it's okay because this is just a tab. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my scissors and cut out all of these parts right here. All right. Now, I'm going to stop the video and come back when I'm done. Okay, so I've cut out these panels right here like this, and I want to show you that I also snipped right here each of these tabs so that I can fold them, okay? Now, um, one thing that we're going to do is we're going to make cut this on an angle. So I want to cut in, I want to measure two and a half inches, and I can use my grid paper down here and find that two and a half inches is right here. So I would make a little mark with my pencil. I don't have a pencil on me, but and then I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see, over here, two and a half inches, right? Actually, I want to do it this way. Two and a half would be, let's see if I can do it like this, right there. Okay, so now I'm going to cut from that little snip to here, and I would probably use my paper cutter so that I would guarantee that it's straight. But I'm just going to eyeball it, okay? So right here, all the way up. That was a two and a half inch mark, and see, you really want to use your pencil because I snipped in a little bit too far. All right, now the stamp set I'm using is this brand new photopolymer set. It's so cute. It's got some beautiful greetings and a few snowflakes. And I'm using the medium snowflake and some whisper white ink. And I am going to just randomly stamp some snowflakes on the back panel. And then when I fold this up, these are going to this is going to be the front. So I want to randomly stamp this too. Most of this will be covered up by paper DSP, so we don't need to do too much. And you can see that I have already put my sticky strip on the back sides of these uh, tabs. All right, so I want to make sure that all of my fold lines are nice and crisp. And I'm going to go ahead and peel off that sticky strip. And fold it. Let's make sure this one's nice and crisp. And I'm going to make sure that I am lining those edges up. Okay. This is really a simple box to make. Alright, so now let's do the front. Alright, so in it goes like that. Let's see if I can line that up just a little bit better. The sticky strip is awesome, but does not leave a whole lot of room for four mistakes. So there we have the box, okay? Now I'm going to cover, I'm going to put a belly band around here. And I can never get my belly bands right when I try to make a long strip. So what I've done is I've cut four pieces of DSP. And I cut them, two of them are two inches by three and a half, and I scored it right at the three inch line. And two of them are two inches by two and a fourth inches, scored at one and three fourths. So let me show you how I do this. On the scored flap, I put some sticky strip, okay? And I'm going to line that up right there and fold it over, okay? Now before I stick this down, I'm going to get my shorter one, peel off the sticky strip, 
okay, and I'm going to see where it lines up here, just like that, and I'm going to stick that one down. Now I could come over here, put some just regular old adhesive on this, and fold it over. And I'm going to repeat that with all four panels, okay? The longer ones go on the front and the back, and I want to make sure that I'm lining them up before I stick it down. There we go. And the shorter ones are going to go on the side. Okay, so one more. I just have found that when I try to make a belly band, I can never quite get it to match up the, cor the edges. So this is a kind of a faux belly band, if you will, to make sure that everything is in the right place. All right. So I'm going to add some adhesive there. Uh-oh. Let's try that again. Here, that one. And adhere. I hope you can see that. Right there. Add a little bit more. And right there. Now, for my decorative tag, I used some of the silver cardstock, silver foil cardstock, which I love. And I used the, the Festive Flurry framelits. And this is the stamp set that goes with it. And this one is the second smallest, okay? So I cut that out. And then I took the smallest one and I stamped it in Knight of Navy. And I'm gonna use the framelit to line up. That's the good thing. See, I made a mistake when I, I rolled my stamp a little bit, but when I lined this up on here like this, you won't even be able to see it. All right, so always stamp first. And then we're going to run it through the big shot. Now I'm using my magnetic platform, which really helps it helps those framelits stay in place. All right, so I'm going to line it up like that, and quickly run it through. And there we have it. Okay. So I've got those two pieces. Now I'm going to, I stamped the Joy from the sta same photopolymer stamp set, and I'm going to punch it out. It's in um, Cherry Cobbler, and I'm punching it out with the 7 8 Scallop Circle Punch. And again, I stamped first and punched second so I could see exactly what I was doing. And lastly, I need a 1-inch circle of Cherry Cobbler cardstock that I punched. Now I'm going to, I like lots of dimensions, so I'm taking my Stampin' Dimensionals. And I'm going to line all of these up. So, again, I had silver foil cardstock. Whoops, it's a little crooked. And then Knight of Navy ink on Whisper White cardstock. Next is the Cherry Cobbler 1 inch circle. And last is the Joy Sentiment stamped in Cherry Cobbler, punched out with a 7 8 inch scallop circle. All right, so now I'm gonna put, I think I'll put two dimensionals just to be sure, right here on the front. Now the last thing that I did was I added my soap and a big piece of the one inch grow grain cherry cobbler that's in the holiday catalog. It's beautiful. And I tied that right in and there you have it. All right, thanks for joining me this week. I hope you've enjoyed my project so far and I will see you next week. Thanks. Bye-bye.